The Allograft Oat System for cartilage restoration allows for the efficient treatment of large, symptomatic lesions of osteoarticular surfaces. Following preoperative examination to confirm the size of the lesion, perform a standard peripatellar arthrotomy to expose the defect. Select the appropriate cannulated Allograft Oats sizer to estimate and approximate coverage of the lesion. Place the sizer used to establish the recipient defect size over the allograft condyle to ensure the allograft is large enough for the defect site. Then, mark it circumferentially and add a reference mark in a superior 12 o'clock position. Once the appropriate size match has been confirmed, return to the recipient site and place the sizer over the defect, staying perpendicular to the condyle surface. Advance a drill tip guide pin through the sizer into bone. Create a circumferential mark around the cylinder. Remove the sizer and place a reference mark in a superior 12 o'clock position. Assemble the appropriately sized recipient score with the Quick Connect T handle and 2.4 mm guide pin. Then use it to score the articular cartilage to the subchondral bone. Select the appropriate recipient site reamer and loosen the wing nut. Advance the reamer to the desired depth of the recipient site and secure the wing nut. Secure the recipient sight reamer with depth stop to the drill and place it over the drill tip guide pin. Drill the counterbore into the defect to the desired depth, typically 5 to 8 millimeters. Confirm bleeding subchondral surfaces. Thread the appropriately sized allograft oats dilator onto the slap hammer and insert it into the recipient's socket sight to achieve a 0.5 millimeter socket dilation. Advance the dilator until it has seated fully into the socket. Take depth measurements of the created socket from four quadrants and record them for use when creating the allograft core. Secure the donor allograft in the allograft oats workstation. Place the appropriately sized allograft oats workstation bushing into the articulating arm housing. Move the articulating arm over the graft and set the exact angle necessary to match the recipient's contour. Use the oat sizer to confirm you are perpendicular to the graft. Securely fasten the housing using the hexagon bolt and cheater bar. Connect the Allograft Oats donor harvester with a collared guide pin to a drill and pass it into the proximal graft housing to rest on the graft's surface. Drill the harvester to a depth of 15 mm to 20 mm and then remove it. Advance a sagittal saw perpendicularly through the condyle at the approximate depth of the reaming and continue until the core releases. An alternative method would be to ream through the entirety of the allograft and use the collared guide pin to gently extract the graft. Mark the depths recorded from the recipient socket on the four quadrants of the graft. Then, draw a circumferential mark on the bone. Secure the graft in the allograft oats holding forceps and use a saw to slowly trim it to achieve the appropriate length of bone to ensure a press fit in the recipient socket. Bulletize the graft with a rongeur to assist with insertion. The allograft bone may be soaked in autologous-conditioned plasma prior to implantation. A thin layer of demineralized bone matrix, DBM, may be applied to the recipient socket to make slight adjustments as needed. Match the graft reference mark with the recipient reference mark for orientation. Advance the graft with firm pressure into the socket. A tamp may be used as needed to achieve complete insertion. Advance the graft until flush with the surrounding cartilage. 